Welcome back to Living 808. Summer is almost here, and working parents want options for their keiki. Yeah, not just waste time, be active, and have a full summer of activities. Tanya knows of a place that can help. We're going to throw it on over to Tanya. Tanya! <laughs> Guys, it's May Day. That means summer's just around the corner. Parents are starting to think about options. And in this neighborhood and in a lot of communities right down the road, we have the YMCA. We want to talk about some of those summer programs here with sunshine. We could use a little extra sunshine today. <laughs> and Lisa as well. So this is such a great community and part of it here in the Windward side. So tell me about one of some of the options you have for summer. Well, we've got a lot of things going on at the Windward YMCA. So we got our day camp programs, we have our teen programs, and we have lots of swim lessons. And and of course, our membership. Um, what's special about the Windward side is that in our backyard we have our hay out. So we do a lot of place based learning with our kids and our teens. And so that's really kind of perpetuate our culture. Um, talk about sustainability and just being able to take care of our environment just for the social responsibility aspect of that. So, and also our day camp program. So, new this year, we have our youth choice. And we did that in response to parents saying that they wanted children to kind of focus on other areas and what their interest was. So, we'll have STEM. We'll have reading, we'll have um, play in blocks and outdoor games, indoor games, lots of cooking. We do have a great garden in our backyard, and so we'll we'll plant stuff in our backyard that we can use in our ingredients. So we've done pesto, we've done pizza from the garden, so it's just a lot of things going on. Great place for a lot of families, and I happen to have a connection there. My mother-in-law, Carla, teaches yoga in the morning at the Windward Y, and also my grandmother helped turn the pool into a salt water. So you have some great sim swim lessons available. Yes, we do. So the YMCA actually started group lessons in 1909, and also the filtration system that helps clean the pools. So we do have a wonderful salt water and heated pool thanks to your family. And um, so we have a two week intensive programs in the summer. So it's lessons every single day versus one time a week. So you progress quickly in our summer programs and our swim lessons. And what's new this year is that we just recently upgraded our curriculum. So it's a better learning foundation for them, better tracking and just um, easier way to, to kind of go through the, the swim lessons. Well, that's fantastic, and you have so many different outdoor activities about getting families moving. Lisa, tell me about Camp Erdman and some oh, of the things you have planned there. <laughs> well, many of us remember Camp Erdman as kids because it's been there since 1926, and all of the fun things we love about camp is there. The campfires, the s'mores, the silly songs, but you know, today we're even more intentional. We're building skills and confidence and really instilling that sense of exploration and adventure in our youth and our teens. So we have programs for kids 7 through 17. Teens also have the option of doing a two-week leadership and training camp or a three-week counselor in training camp. Parents can upgrade their youth or their teens camp with uh, surf lessons or horseback lessons or even working on those high rope, rope challenges with just 40 feet off the ground. And families, we don't leave them out. We do have family staycation weekend camps. We only do this four times a year. And our next one coming up is Mother's Day weekend, and then we have another one the weekend before 4th of July. Well, that's terrific. And I should point out, too, although we're here in Kailua featuring the Windward Y, this is across the board that families across the state can sign up for this, correct? That's right. We have YMCAs across the island. We have six that they can sign up for summer programs, and all of them do feed into Camp Urban as well. All of them offer very similar programs like our Windward Y, but a lot of them are really focused or specialized according to the communities that they're in or they serve. All right, and at the campfire, I wonder if they're doing some of the rain dances. Looks like we're doing here in a little bit more sunshine. We'll post all the information. Great May Day celebration happening here and around the state, so I'll go ahead and send it back. A lot more to come here on Living 808.